Hello everybody, uh, let's talk about uh, culture vulture and uh, the obsession of uh, liking uh, another uh, country's uh, culture uh, that uh, you uh, try to imitate uh, that and also uh, try to look like uh, them uh, just because uh, you uh, like that culture and want to be part of that culture. So we all know what, uh, what the tra transgender is. Uh, so basically people, uh, they go under the, the knife and they try to, uh, a man try to uh, look like a woman and but it cannot uh, be actually a woman uh, and uh, a woman uh, go going on a knife and trying to be like a man but can it not uh, like fully a man actually a man uh, it's just they're trans uh. now there's a thing called uh, trans uh, ratio Now, I want to uh, tell you guys uh, re regarding a culture vulture and uh, a person uh, named uh, Oli London, who is a British British uh, citizenship, uh, who is a trans man. Who is was a young girl. She was uh, bullied uh, when she was uh, younger and uh, and uh, when she got older she uh, got the opportunity to uh, she lived in uh, South Korea for uh, a year or two and uh, she was a big uh, fan of the culture and uh, how uh, when she she was since she was a uh, bully then uh, at the British uh, but uh, in uh, in South Korea how uh, they treated her she wanted. She was like surprised and she wanted to be part of the culture and uh, she was a fan of uh, K-pop and uh, and uh, she uh, went under the knife uh, 30 plus times just to try to look like this guy. Park Jimin or Jimin one of the members of the famous uh, new generation uh, K-pop uh, group uh, BTS known as uh, Pangtan Sonyeondan so all all in the only London that uh, did the uh, surgery and uh, in the streets of uh, in England, uh, wherever she lived, only London lived, uh, after, uh, the trans, uh, gender and uh, trans ra racial, uh, uh, African, uh, British, uh, woman, uh, passed, uh, by her and, uh, called her out for uh, being a culture vulture and, uh, cultural appro appropriation, uh, uh, saying, uh, no matter how many times you have surgery, you cannot be a Korean. And uh, only London, uh, she acted uh, act just like uh, how uh, people who are uh, trans, uh, they uh, behave. Uh, you better call me a man. You better call me a woman. Or else you're transphobic.
we're just calling you out. We're just calling you uh, for, for what uh, you actually uh, are. I mean, if you are born a guy, uh, you're a guy, uh, and uh, if you're born a girl, uh, you're a uh, you're, you're a woman. There's no the uh, no way you can actually physically change that. Uh, even the chromosomes that uh, that we have in our body, and also. Uh, And the uh, detransitions, uh, even if you try to get uh, your, uh, you know, private parts uh, back, uh, it's just, yeah, you can't have kids. You can't get someone pregnant. That same thing. So after uh, Oli London. Uh, Had that uh, argument uh, with that African uh, British uh, woman. Uh, so word got around. Uh, so GTS Army, they've heard of, found out. The Koreans, uh, they found out. Asians found out. Every, everyone in the world found out about uh, Oli Lund and been doing cultural appropriation and being a culture vulture and uh, so uh, Oli Lund and uh, yeah, did uh, de detransitioning and uh, is uh, back to, uh, to uh, being uh, just a British uh, Citizen. But the only uh, good thing with the, the being a uh, trans uh, is uh, only London is uh, responsive. Is uh, making sure uh, young kids are not uh, groomed uh, into uh, being uh, being a trans. Uh, it's uh, up to you, uh, not uh, not uh, getting uh, forced uh, by uh, someone uh, who can't. Uh, you you ha don't have a control of your body until the, you're uh, an uh, officially an adult uh, of age. Uh, that was that stuff. But uh, there have been uh, Americans uh, who. Uh, they uh, are a very fine fan of like uh, the country like Thailand, and uh, they literally go in under the knife, uh, just like only London uh, did. And uh, look at me, I'm a Thailand person, uh, and it, when called out uh, for a, being a culture vulture, those people will call uh, these people for being uh, racist. Uh, when uh, technically uh, that person is being a culture vulture, and uh, there's absolutely no way uh, Thailand uh, will uh, accept you. Because you're trying to, like, we're Asian, and are you trying, to, you're literally trying to make fun of us, like, You are clearly American. Are you a citizen? Stop trying to uh, act, pretend uh, that the, like you're one of us when you are not. It's one thing from compared from uh, living in a country, which uh, the next person that uh, I'm going to mention is. Uh, Ilya Belyakova, who is a uh, he is a Russian uh, Korean. Uh, he had a fascination uh, with uh, Korean uh, culture, and uh, he took a citizenship uh, test, uh, unlike uh, only London, uh, and uh, 
he uh, is uh, officially a Korean uh, citizen. He uh, kept his name. Although uh, one time uh, he uh, tried to uh, visit uh, Japan and uh, the person uh, checking the passport uh, over in Japan, uh, they're not on the Korean side, but on the Japan side uh, in the Tokyo airport. Uh, so, white man, Ilya Belyakov. But uh, citizenship uh, says Korean. So they, they will think uh, like the passport is like stolen or something. So there's also uh, another person uh, who is also a person. Uh, Fabian Yoon. Who is a French uh, fashion model and uh, also uh, is that uh, now... Uh, Permanent resident uh, of uh, South Korea. Work. He works uh, in a museum. Uh, he so uh, he he's the one the curator who like the guide who uh, leads people around uh, and uh, explaining all the the Korean uh, history. Uh, so back from like the really old days, like like the centuries ago, uh, when we. When there was no Korea, it was just a whole bunch of uh, kingdoms uh, split together, and uh, like five, there were like five, and then there were like seven back then, and then and then there was three, and then there was a uh, Korea, and then there was a uh, USA and uh, Soviet Union, uh, but but it had its as and now we have North and South Korea. So he would be explaining all the his history and uh, at the and everything that is in the museum. So yeah, he knows more than me. So although his actual name is uh, Fabian Yev Jerome Corbino. So, uh, he just uh, changed his uh, last name uh, to a Korean uh, last name, uh, but uh, he uh, still keeps his uh, first name, uh, Fabian. Now, uh, and also, uh, people, uh, if, if you really want to be uh, influenced, uh, there's a person... Uh, PewDiePie, Felix uh, Kielberg, Swedish, Sweden uh, YouTuber, uh, gamer, blogger. He uh, had the interest in uh, Japanese culture and uh, he uh, immigrated over there and uh, he's married to a uh, Japanese woman. Uh, I haven't had family there. So if you uh, are uh, interested in uh, in a certain uh, culture and in a certain certain country, my highest recommendation as a person who is also uh, immigrated from uh, South Korea to Canada and I'm still living, I still have my name, my my. My real name, my biological name, yeah, I would rec highly recommend that you can uh, immigrate to that country that you are a big fan of, uh, so you can experience uh, that. Or live there for uh, like a year or two and then decide if you want to like immigrate or stay in where you are that's up to you